Wake up. Wake up. Hey, wake up. How about a little change of the guard? This is actually the new rig that we'll be using to actually film the vlog. This is my old rig here. To give you an idea, this is what it used to look like, and now this is what it looks like now. It's a little bit wider. Jay is actually into Sony. This is an A7 III, and I was always a Canon guy, so this is the old Canon rig here, but the truth is, is it wasn't quite as wide, much, much heavier. Now the color profiles also will fix with not only my camera, but his camera, Noah's camera, everyone's camera, is now Sony. It feels a little bit sad to be letting Canon go, and we'll still use it on some shots but this is the new rig i can tell you one thing it's a lot lighter and i definitely like the wider shot let me know what you guys think i think we're gonna get some banging stuff with this added to the vlog and i tell you what, it is gonna be cool to see this kind of perspective walking down the aisles totally different i can get a little closer if you guys want or i can stay a little further away it's gonna be absolutely epic Oh my gosh, take a look at that shot with the racks in the back. Definitely loving it. And you guys may not know this, but you know, one of the things about daily vlogging is you beat your cameras up a lot. You know, I typically go through one to three cameras per year just because they've gotten beat up, they get dropped. So uh, the truth is, is that Canon EOS R actually lasted me for over a year. So it was due, it was starting to get beat up, starting to give us little problems. And Jay convinced me to switch it over to the Sony. And uh, so far, I'm absolutely loving it. Let me know what you guys think. I really don't spend enough time looking at the snakes here at BHB on the vlog when it comes to babies. You know, a lot of times I'm showing our raise ups or our breeders and stuff, but the truth is we have some smoking babies. This particular animal is actually a scaleless Tessera corn snake. I mean, look at the color and pattern on that animal. Absolute rippers. And these are all animals that are up on the website, which is pretty darn awesome. I mean, that is cool. And again, the, all the scaleless stuff we produced this year was ridiculous. But now that it's getting a little bit of size to them, wow. Wow, they're looking amazing. And you guys may have remembered that tiger scaleless stuff that we're producing. This is actually an aneurysmic tiger scaleless corn snake. So it's got all three mutations in it. And man, I tell you what, I love the aneury scaleless stuff. And then that tiger stuff, you know, it really looks better probably in normals, to be honest with you, because it looks more like a Siberian tiger or something like that. But it still passes on and kind of makes an interesting pattern in the aneury. And wow, I tell you what, like I said, there's a big difference between a baby, baby corn snake and one that's now had, you know, 12, 15 meals and getting a little bit more size. I mean, the colors just start popping like crazy. What do we have at the end of this aisle? Dun, 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 dun. There's a dinosaur. Okay, I won't mess with you. I won't. Oh, it's okay. Oh. I always feel so bad when that happens. I wanted to walk up to him and let him stay up here. You know how hard he works with Lucio. You know, he doesn't have an arm. He works so hard to get up on here and he loves hanging out up here. Sorry, RJ. I love you to death. Now he's coming over to be mad at me. I'm sorry, Bob. You okay? He's such an awesome animal. I tell you what, I cannot, I keep saying this, but man, when he gets over to the Reptarium and people can actually interact with this thing, it's, it's just mind numbing how awesome he is. How's my buddy Grits doing? Oh my gosh, this white throat monitor is absolutely incredible. And I talked about earlier that we want to make the vlog more genuine. We want to make it fun too, you know. I want to definitely keep uh, it the positive thing because that's what we do and that's how I feel about life. But at the same time, be more genuine with you guys about things and, and have fun with the family and all that type of stuff. Continue to reiterate, it's going to be an animal vlog. I'm an animal guy. And that's kind of uh, one of the things that I haven't talked about much lately. I know I get messages from you guys that, you know, so many people are dealing with anxiety, depression during this crazy time in life that we're in. And it's totally understandable. And you guys know that I certainly have dealt with it and these animals have helped me through it so much. <laughs> Look at Junkie Monkey. What an absolutely adorable face. And when I get messages from you guys that tell me, Brian, I start my day out with you and, and it get, helps me get out of bed and stuff like that, it means so much to me. I mean, it really does. And, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how I got out of bed, you know? I mean, again, I'm doing so much better. Most days my anxiety is really, really good, but that hasn't come easy. That's been a lot of work, a lot of therapy. And as a matter of fact, my therapist one time told me that most to her patients that she deals with literally that have any kind of anxiety like I had could barely function and yet I still woke up every day I vlogged every day I continue to grow our businesses I added new adventures and it's not like I'm some superhero by any stretch of the imagination I'm just a normal guy just like every one of you guys the only difference was is that I'm doing something I'm super passionate about and that passion made me get out of bed every single day just like every day for the next several months I'm gonna be down here switching males into females cages but it's so exciting because as we're switching males we're obviously checking other females that are being 
bred and today was a good day of breeding. We have about 12 or 15 males locked up. A few males that had never bred before actually are breeding today, which is really great because once they start breeding, then they're on to go. That's those young males that I always, I'm like, please breed for me. And thankfully we have three or four new males for the first time ever breeding. Now they're off to the races. So the season has started off really well. We'll probably do an ultrasound here in the next week or two and uh, really get a gauge for how things are starting to progress. But it looks like it's gonna be a banger of a year. It's always interesting how chameleons shed. You know, when they're in that stage of shed, they don't last a couple days. They look so ratty, right? They look like, oh man, it's so weird. I wish they would shed quicker like a snake or sometimes monitors do that too, but monitors take forever. Chameleons only happen for a day or two. They get that shed off and so on like that. But there were so many days, guys, that I woke up and I didn't want to come to work. I didn't want to get out of bed. I just wanted to stick a pillow over my head and just go back to bed because I was so, so much pain. The anxiety was so painful, you know? And, uh, but I, I knew that staying in bed wasn't gonna help that anxiety, right? It was gonna go the other way. It was gonna just, you start swimming in it, right? You start thinking about it. So the best thing you can really do is to do things that don't feel comfortable, right? So if it doesn't feel comfortable to come to work, go to work. If it doesn't feel comfortable to go to a store, go to a store. The more you do it, the more it gets off your mind. And I always talk about swimming in that emotion, right? You know, try not to swim in the emotion. If you can keep your mind occupied, sometimes every now and then you'll forget about it, right? Like, so I was anxious literally 24 seven, every single day for over a year. I mean, terribly bad. And yet, you know, I would sometimes get to work and, and if I got into the vlog or I got into working with animals or something like that, for just moments, I would it would take my mind off it like oh wait a second I don't feel anxious for a second and then my anxiety would come back and so on like that but my point is is that you know get out of bed do something because if you swim in it that's when it's just gonna continue to fester and you need to get past it get that nervous system calm back down and make your kind of self feel more normal and the only way to do that is to go forward not to stay backwards it's so important to have purpose and that purpose doesn't have to be something astronomical I mean you don't have to be like you're know, doing like saving the world world or making rockets or something like that sometimes the purpose can just be you know taking care of your pets you know maybe your pet snakes your pet reptiles or even your pet dog or something like that or you know whatever the case is I'm fortunate that my purpose is twofold number one it certainly is taking care of animals right and it's also you guys you know you guys give me purpose every day to come here and do my work and share my life and and so there's a reason so on those dark days when I didn't want to do anything it was really inspirational to know that you guys were relying on me all those messages of people saying like, I start my day with you, Brian. I don't know what I would do without you type of thing. That got me out of bed. So thank you guys for that. But I want to do the same thing for you guys. And I, you know, again, I'm not going to continue to reiterate and, and talk about this all the time. But on occasion, I want to take you guys on the genuine story of what's happening. Like I said, most days I'm doing much, much better. I'll be honest with you. But I still have times. I mean, about a month ago, I had about a week, week and a half period where I thought I was sliding back really bad. I was like, oh my goodness. I am not feeling good at all. And uh, I was anxious every single day, all day, every day. And I was like really scared because I had made so much progress. And all of a sudden I did this like kind of regression. And regression's okay. Everyone has regression. And like I said, thankfully I'm on the other side and things have been going really well as far as my anxiety lately. But uh, I want to continue to encourage you guys. So enough about that. I just wanted to get that off my mind because again, I want to be genuine this year. It's one of my kind of resolutions to you guys. So I hope you don't mind. Uh, and it's pretty amazing that we're gonna look at some pretty cool animals this year too, like Neo. Holy moly, is she getting incredible. Look at Chopsticks, the way ain't all weird here. Getting so big. Remember when we got Chopsticks? It was like this big, now it's getting so big, it's almost like an adult turtle. And I love the little caramel snow too. He's absolutely cool. Veldemore is an awesome little turtle too. Like I've been mentioning, I can't wait till we do the expansion and be able to do more turtle stuff. I've become a turtle maniac. I wanna have at least three, four, five different enclosures that are dedicated just to different types of turtles. Probably, maybe, even more than that to be honest with you but I just had to I had to show chopsticks because I just love the way it's sitting right now it looks so awesome look at how good Bugatti the Bolens Python is looking I love it when it's just kind of perched on the whole branch like that looks absolutely amazing what's up you little monkey you okay oh my god that thing is so cool again the iridescence kind of shining down and stuff like that it's uh it's always amazing you know there's never a day that I don't walk around the reptarium or BHB for that matter but the reptarium obviously the animals are easier to see and stuff like that and just in in amazement about how incredibly beautiful mother nature is you know and like I had talked about earlier about being genuine about the anxiety and everything else I also told you that one of the other things we're gonna do is start doing some more family adventures so the family's actually gearing up and heading out to the west side of Michigan where my daughter lives 
and uh, I hear they have like 14 inches of snow, so who knows, maybe we'll do some sledding or something like that. So what do you say we hit the road and go just have some fun? So this is actually our place out on the west side of Michigan. It's actually uh, on a lake and it's uh, Lori is testing out if it's frozen or not. Now we were supposed to have like 12 or 14 inches of snow out here per my daughter, because she lives pretty close and, uh, but the hill is, there's no snow on the hill, Lori. No, there's no snow, but it's still a hill. It's and still a hill. I think we can still slide down it. <laughs> so we're gonna still survive. Look at Zeus is like running around. He's like, wait a second, this is supposed to be water. Now he's eating the snow. Look at him. What are you doing, you silly monkey? The dogs are definitely loving it. Noah, what do you think? That's a bad idea. <laughs> you think it's a bad idea? It, I mean, it's it's solid. You're gonna go down here? Yeah, because this is a little, you got a rock here and a deck here that you're going to run into. We, we <laughs> you just got to go straight. There's, <laughs> no, you go through the little cattail. It is cold out here too. It's like 12 degrees out, but uh, hey, we might as well have a little fun. Come on, I don't want to wear that. Please? No, you wear it. No, I come on, please. Why? Because just for one thing, you're going first. Then you go first and wear it. I don't want to go first. I'm scared. Well, I don't want to wear that. That's All good. I want to do is sled. I don't need yeah, any of this up, crap. This is so dumb. I fucking want this. It's just going to fly off. I can already feel it. You're going to go there. Well, what's the worst thing that's going to happen? You run into the dock or you run into the... Go! I think she's got it. I think she's this got it. This is such a... You guys use your brain a little bit. Look at that little gap you have for success. So silly. <laughs> Dude, That's what I'm saying. There's no such thing as straight. You can't go straight on a sled. She did good. She bailed out at the right time. Where are the gloves at? Are you going to try now? Yeah. Not down that way, though, because I have a little bit of common sense. He goes through the ice. <laughs> That's scary. That was awesome! <laughs> I don't think going through the cattail is going to be fun. That was absolutely epic, by the way. Got all the way down to the ice. <laughs> this is so much fun. I've been thinking about this hill ever since we got this place. This is our first winter here, so when you get some good snow, it's going to be amazing. Oh! 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 <laughs> some speed on that one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Holy cow, it does get a little rough after that. Good hill. It's a good hill, right? It's a good hill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I got some road rash from it. <laughs> I think the pups are having a good time. You got Noah, just lean left. Now right. <laughs> so that was some family fun. You guys enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was a good time. If, it, if the, the hill had snow, it'd be better. So yeah. we're going to revisit this. Have you enjoyed the vlog too, me over here? I can barely talk. <laughs> oh, yeah, <your> <laughs> uh, hit that playlist right over here. Also, you can hit the subscription button. It's so hard to talk. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to somebody. And I promise I'll see you tomorrow.